Socotra or Socotra. It located between the Guadafui Channel and the Arabian Sea, is the largest of the four islands in Socotra archipelago. The territory is located near major shipping routes and is officially part of Yemen, and had long been a subdivision of Aden Governorate. In 2004, it became attached to the Hadramaut Governorate, which is much closer to the island than Aden, although the nearest governorate was the Al Mara Governorate. In 2013, the archipelago became its own governorate, Socotra Governorate. The island of Socotra constitutes around 95% of the landmass of the Socotra archipelago. It lies some 240 kilometers 150 miles east of the coast of Somalia and 380 kilometers 240 miles south of the Arabian Peninsula. While politically a part of Yemen, part of the Arabian Peninsula and thus Western Asia, Socotra and the rest of its archipelago geographically are part of Africa. The island is very isolated, home to a high number of endemic species, up to a third of its plant life is endemic. It has been described as the most alien looking place on Earth. The island measures 132 kilometers 82 miles in length and 49.7 kilometers 30.9 miles in width. In 2008 Socotra was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There was initially an Old Lithic culture in Socotra. Oldowan stone tools were found in the area around Hadibo by V. A. Zhukov, a member of the Russian complex expedition in 2008. Socotra appears as Dioscuridu of the Dioscuri in the Periplus of the Erythrian Sea, a 1st century AD Greek navigation aid. A recent discovery of texts in several languages, including a wooden tablet in Palmyrene dated to the 3rd century AD, indicate the diverse origins of those who used Socotra as a trading base in antiquity. In 2001 a group of Belgian speleologists of the Socotra Cast project investigated a cave on the island of Socotra. There, they came across a large number of inscriptions, drawings and archaeological objects. Further investigation showed that these had been left by sailors who visited the island between the 1st century BC and the 6th century AD. Most of the texts are written in the Indian Brahmi script, but there are also inscriptions in South Arabian, Ethiopic, Greek, Palmyrene and Bactrian scripts and languages. This corpus of nearly 250 texts and drawings thus constitutes one of the main sources for the investigation of Indian Ocean trade networks in that time period. Hala Cave in the east of the island is several hundred meters deep, with total darkness. Note the size of the stalagmites and stalactites compared to that of the 1.7 meters 5.6 feet man with the torch. Socotra is one of the most isolated landforms on Earth of continental origin, i.e. not of volcanic origin. The archipelago was once part of the supercontinent of Gondwana and detached during the Miocene epoch, in the same set of rifting events that opened the Gulf of Aden to its northwest. The archipelago consists of the main island of Socotra, 3665 square kilometers, 1415 square miles, the three smaller islands of ABD Al-Khuri, Samha and Dasa, as well as small rock outcrops like Kale Furon and Sabuniya that are uninhabitable by humans but important for seabirds. Socotra is considered the jewel of biodiversity in the Arabian Sea. In the 1990s, a team of United Nations biologists conducted a survey of the archipelago's flora and fauna. They counted nearly 700 endemic species, found nowhere else on Earth, only New Zealand, Hawaii, New Caledonia, and the Galapagos Islands have more impressive numbers. The long geological isolation of the Socotra archipelago and its fierce heat and drought have combined to create a unique and spectacular endemic flora. Botanical field surveys led by the Center for Middle Eastern Plants, part of the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh, indicate that 307 out of the 825 plant species on Socotra are endemic, i.e., they are found nowhere else on Earth. The entire flora of the Socotra archipelago has been assessed for the IUCN Red List, with three critically endangered and 27 endangered plant species recognized in 2004. One of the most striking of Socotra's plants is the dragon's blood tree, Dracaena cinnabari, which is a strange-looking, umbrella-shaped tree. Its red sap was thought to be the dragon's blood of the ancients, sought after as a dye, and today used as paint and varnish. 
Also important in ancient times were Socotra's various endemic aloes, used medicinally, and for cosmetics. Other endemic plants include the giant succulent tree Dorstenia gigas, the cucumber tree Dendrositsios socotrinus, the rare socotron pomegranate Panica protopanica, aloe peri, and Boswellia socotrana. The island group also has a rich fauna, including several endemic species of birds, such as the Socotra starling, Onocognathus freighter, the Socotra sunbird, Nectarinia balfouri, Socotra bunting, Emberiza socotrana, Socotra cysticola, Cysticola hesitatus, Socotra sparrow, Parsa insularis, Socotra golden winged grosbeak, Rhynchostruthus socotrinus, and a species in a monotypic genus, the Socotra warbler, Incarna incarna. Many of the bird species are endangered by predation by non-native feral cats. With only one endemic mammal, six endemic bird species and no amphibians, reptiles constitute the most relevant Socotran vertebrate fauna with 31 species. If one excludes the two recently introduced species, Hemidactylus robustus and Hemidactylus flaviviridus, all native species are endemic. There is a very high level of endemism at both species 29 of 31, 94%, and genus levels 5 of 12, 42%. At the species level, endemicity may be even higher, as phylogenetic studies have uncovered substantial hidden diversity. The reptile species include skinks, legless lizards, and one species of chameleon, Chameleo monicus. There are many endemic invertebrates, including several spiders, such as the Tarantula monocentropus balfouri, and three species of freshwater crabs, one Socotra pseudocardosoma and two Socotrapotamon. As with many isolated island systems, bats are the only mammals native to Socotra. In contrast, the coral reefs of Socotra are diverse, with many endemic species. Socotra is also one of the homes of the butterfly Bicyclus ananana. Over the 2,000 years of human settlement on the islands the environment has slowly but continuously changed, and, according to Jonathan Kingdon, the animals and plants that remain represent a degraded fraction of what once existed. The Periplus of the Erythrian Sea says the island had crocodiles and large lizards, and the present reptilian fauna appears to be greatly reduced. Until a few centuries ago, there were rivers and wetlands on the island, greater stocks of the endemic trees, and abundant pasture. The Portuguese recorded the presence of water buffaloes in the early 17th century. Now there are only sand gullies, and many native plants only survive where there is greater moisture or protection from livestock. The remaining Socotra fauna is greatly threatened by goats and other introduced species.